No. This will probably be the only time I do this, responding with a video to someone like this. It is almost a waste of our time. However, I must bring this to light because it adds fuel to my argument. This guy, Tube Tex, posted a response to my video, The American Terrorists. In it is some kind of rebuttal. Well, just watch it. The link is to the right, over there. Anyway, this man clearly missed everything I said in my video, heard only a few key words, and ran with it. He accuses me of calling U.S. soldiers terrorists, and goes on to say, quote, I see why you're hiding your face. That would be treason, sir, I do believe. You're emboldening the enemy. And I do hope that you are found, and I do hope that somebody calls you before 2 o'clock in the morning and asks you to open your door, because I think that, yeah, you should be treating, treated as a treasonous person, unquote. This is what I'm up against, people, and I get I, I, I get a lot of emails that, that, that threaten my life, that that uh, that threaten me harm, you know. But uh, this is this is what I get, you know, for being objectionable, uh, for looking after the interests of soldiers all around the world, and speaking out against the modification of the Geneva Conventions for their protection, for stating that American foreign policy has always been cited by the terrorists themselves as the reason they do what they do for exercising my right to free speech, for spreading factual and unbiased information, for trying to come to a consensus on how to prevent war and terrorism. I should be treated as a treasonous person. That based on a statement that I didn't even make. If I ever tried to illustrate problems with American attitude, I could not have done it any more eloquently than TubeTex. Thank you, TubeTex. I salute you for that, and that alone. Unfortunately, I will continue in my quest. It is extra unfortunate that you hope harm upon me for this. I need not tell the masses how the military deals with treason. You and I know, but let me let you in on something. Terrorists in the Middle East do not frighten me, nor does tainted spinach. I'm not even afraid of the dark, but because I know that people like you exist, I fear, not just for myself, but for this nation, that attitude is terrorism. Yes, it frightens me that someone would wish me harm because they misunderstood something I said or mixed it into something they wanted to hear. Your intolerance is a disgrace to the military. I know many soldiers. One is my brother-in-law, who I know happily defends my right to do what I do. In fact, he's one of my biggest fans. He is intelligent. He can see that I stand neutral and try to figure out problems and bring, in, bring them to the public's attention. He always watches my videos, and in fact, from our discussions together, I have been inspired to make some of them. Even my father shares the distinction of having served in the military. I get a lot of emails from current and former military personnel commending me on my efforts. Many say that I give them answers to questions they had while they fought in places like Vietnam, Panama, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Soldiers are good people. They feel a duty, and they perform it. I look for ways to prevent their loss. I search for ways to keep them at home. Soldiers of all nations, that is my duty. I sincerely hope that there aren't many more like you in the military. I thought guys like you were all politicians. But I will maintain my good faith in soldiers and not allow you to stain that image. I will continue to fight for their right to stay at home.